so in this video we'll discuss about the ILD chapter that is influence line diagram so what actually influence line diagram is let me take a beam a simply supported beam and a point load is applied somewhere okay and the effect of this load can be graphically illustrated using ILD so this is the application of ILD one kilo suppose the intensity is one kilonewton this load may be movable so the effect of this movable load can be in illustrated by using ILD so it is a graphical method to illustrate the effect of the moving load at any section from any direction so starting with the ILD for reactions okay reaction at the support uh, taking a simply supported beam uh, RA and this being RB okay one kilonewton load I will take in uh, with I, one kilonewton so when one kilonewton is at this position okay RA is equal to one kilonewton that is one kilonewton and if it uh, if one kilonewton acts at a distance of x okay if it acts as a at a distance x from r a then taking moment about a okay taking moment about a taking anti -clock, clockwise positive one kilonewton at one x distance so one multiply by x minus r b if the total span is l okay what we get is rb is equal to x by l okay x by l and for rb is equal to x by l applying fy is equal to 0 upward positive fy 1 kilonewton is acting vertically downward and this is acting vertically upward and ra is also acting vertically upward so do not take this value 1 okay it was a consideration now we are taking for one kilonewton acting at a x distance so r a acting vertically upward positive so plus r b minus one is equal to zero we have the value for r b which is equal to x by l so i get l minus x by l okay r a and r b now this is a linear relation okay for ra and rb and is true for x is equal to 0 and x is equal to l so if x is equal to 0 what we see in this equation rb is equal to 0 and ra is equal to 1 okay with this we can draw the ild for reaction support okay reaction so at x is equal to 0 we have ra is equal to 1 so if x is equal to l then what we see is ra is equal to 0 and rb is equal to 1 okay so at x is equal to 0 R A is equal to 1 and R B is equal to 0 this being 1 okay A B this is ILD for R A okay so if this case is taken with a consideration for R B then we have 1 at B 0 at A so this is ILD for R B okay now ILD for shear force and ILD for bending moment I will do it directly and with some hint I will provide so if 
this is the span a b and somewhere at point c i have to find uh, the shear force that at, at a distance x then uh, considering this point as a and this point as b this distance b and this distance as a then the ild for shear force you can just uh, remember the ild for the shear force okay it will be like this that is negative and positive for this side okay and the magnitude is given by the slope a by l okay total and b by l this is the magnitude of this perpendiculars so this is ild for shear force and for bending moment the ild is something like this and the magnitude is a b by l a being this portion b being this portion and l being the total span okay a b c so this is ild for bending moment maximum bending moment okay so this positive portion includes the maximum positive shear force and the negative portion includes maximum negative shear force and if uh, a hanging overhanging portion is provided in the equation then just you have to extrapolate the portion okay for example if i am provided with a overhanging portion at a okay somehow like this then the ild will be extrapolated in this direction okay so this being one and this has to be calculated which is equal to if the distance is given you will be provided with the distance suppose c okay if distance is c then uh, it will have the same slope and we can calculate the perpendicular and if it is provided uh, in the same case if it is provided at this point then it will be extrapolated to a point like this okay and in this case also if it is a overhanging portion then it is extrapolated to up to the perpendicular from the overhanging end so in this way ild for various parameters can be constructed and further calculation can be done